Welcome back, Truth Seeker. I want to talk a bit more about Kobe Bryant and the books that he released in 2019 leading up to his death. If you've missed the work I've done on Kobe Bryant, we've talked about very specific number patterns with his death and the events leading up to it that are surrounded by the number 157. And the first book Kobe released was called The Wizenard Series. It's the first book of a five-part series. Came out March 19th, 2019. It's kind of like a play on Harry Potter with basketball as an added element. It's about children who attend a secret magical sports camp. And anyhow, this book released 157 days before Kobe's 41st birthday. Of course, he would end up dying on his 157th day of his age 41. And notice Kobe Bryant and Gematria sums to 41 as well as 157. And if you watch the Kobe Bryant memorial, there was a lot of talk about how great he was as a father, how great he was to children, how his death will inspire more parents to be great parents to their children. And in the wake of his death, he has a book series which is just now taking off. Part two comes out shortly, and again, it'll be a five-part point series. So no doubt, Kobe Bryant and what's now part of his legacy, what a great father he was to Gianna, sponsoring, you know, Young Mambas, his uh, organization, Mamba and Mambasita, Realize this all factors in. And again, death always brings awareness and sales and money. And Kobe Bryant was a businessman and a very wealthy one at that. So this Wizard series comes out 157 days before Kobe's 41st birthday. And the series was called the Wizard series, or I should say it is called the Wizard series, which sums to 251, which is the 54th prime. Again, like Kobe being Bryant. And remember, this is an important number pattern throughout his career. He won the NBA Finals in the 54th NBA season. And that Finals win came exactly 251 days after the death of Wilt Chamberlain, who was from Philly like Kobe and who died in Bel Air, kind of like the Fresh Prince, Will Smith from Philly, who went to Bel Air. 251 54th prime. Remember the day before Kobe died, LeBron passed Kobe Bryant in points scored on January 25th. 25 slash 1, like 251, the 54th prime. And when LeBron passed Kobe, he scored the 54th points of the game. Years ago in Kobe's career, early in his career, he was accused of rape on July 1st, 2003. That was the span of 54 days from his upcoming birthday. And the spa, the name of the spa where he was accused of raping the woman equals 251. So it's no accident that the Wizenard series is 251, again, the 54th prime. And notice the uh, book series, or the book came out five months and four days before his death. Just like when he died, it was also five months and four days into his age. And what's interesting is the story is centered on children who play at the Fairwood Community Center. Look at the gematria of Fairwood Community Center in light of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's the exact same in both reduction ciphers, forwards and backwards. Los Angeles, California is also 118 where he died, where he played basketball. Los Angeles is on the 118th meridian. And Fairwood alone is 125. Training camp, that's what the first book in the series is called the Wizenard series training camp training camps another 125 numerology is 125 his wife's birthday Vanessa is May 5th the 125th day of the year so the training camp series coming and obviously the term Wizenard is a play on wizard Wizard has Gematria of 81 forwards and backwards, like Kobe Bean Bryant is 81 when you run the alphabetic order in reverse. And of course, he's remembered for scoring 81 points in his 666th career game. 666, number of the beast. Now, Kobe released another book 
in 2019 on November 12th. The Polka, the Tree of Ikroth. And if you're familiar with Kabbalah and the Tree of Life, in Kabbalah there's a positive tree that's about light and there's a evil tree that's about darkness. Now look at this tree up here. You know, clearly the tree that's lit up and look at the tree below. Tree in darkness. The evil tree of life is known as the Klipoth. Klipoth has gematria of 666, like isopsophy. That's the Greek word for coding numbers into words. Isopsophy. Revelation 13, 18 about the number of the beast is a Greek isopsophy riddle. 13, 18 about 666. Kobe Bryant was part of the Greek fraternity Sigma Pi Phi made of Greek letters. So this cover very clearly a tribute to Kabbalah. Kabbalah is where it stated that God created the world with letters, numbers, and words. And that's what we're talking about here. Things being done by this code. If you read my book, chapter one is about why are there 26 letters in the alphabet, how 26 symbolizes God. I even talk about Kobe Bryant in that chapter. Book was written long before Kobe died. Bryant equals 26. He died on the 26th day of the year, January 26th, the anniversary of the great football coach Bear Bryant. He's flying in a helicopter named after a man who died on October 26th. Anyhow, this book right here with the Tree of Life on it and the clip off, if you will, it released November 12th, 2019. And what's interesting about that is from Kobe's birthday to the release of the book was 81 days. Kobe being Brian 81. And from the release of the book to his death on January 26th was 75 days later. Kobe, when you run the alphabetic order in reverse, is 75. What are the odds? The story is about two children, a boy and a girl. The boy's name is Rovi, which has gematria of 26 like Bryant. And the female character's name is Prisha, which has gematria of 33 like Kobe with the alphabetic order. And if you've seen the recent work we did on Kobe and his father and the boule and his death, as well as his father's birth, as well as his own birth, Again, the Boule, according to Bishop Larry Gathers, they are the protectors of the Baphomet system. And of course, the Baphomet is male and female. So I find it interesting that this story is about male and female characters. And they share gematria that sync up with Kobe and Bryant. Okay, so two books perfectly coordinated with Kobe's birthday. And again, this is the world, way the world of elite work. The Cabal, Kabbalah, letters, numbers, dates. Now, to talk about Kobe Bryant's memorial, it began with Beyonce singing a tribute to Kobe. Supposedly one of his favorite songs, and then she sung her hit song, Halo. And as we talked about, Kobe, who finished his career with number 24, the day he died was the day of the Grammys, where Beyonce won her 24th Grammy, the same day that Kobe died. And of course, she's married to Jay-Z, and Kobe died on Jay-Z's 54th day of his age, Kobe being Bryant, 54. But look at this. Again, great work by Kayla. Kayla's a young member of our community who started following this work some time ago, and now she's doing her own decodes. She has a blog, she has a YouTube channel. You can find her typically posting in the live streams and the comment section of my videos. If you see that name, Kayla, click on it, go to her channel, subscribe. She's doing brilliant work. So essentially what I'm sharing here is her work that she caught and uh, very grateful for. But she noticed that once upon a time, back in 1999, Destiny's Child put out the song Bugaboo. And the official music video for this song has Kobe Bryant in it. And it released on Kobe Bryant's 21st birthday, August 23rd, 1999. That's the day the music video came out on Kobe's birthday. Now, if you watch this music video, you'll notice that Kobe comes on the screen 
at two minutes and eight seconds, which is strange, 208, because as we'll get to, or I'll just show you right now, the album that this song is on came out on the 208th day of the year, the day leaving 157 days left in the year. Again, the big number with Kobe Bryant's career. Kobe Bryant, again, 157, dead on his 157th day of his age. So the album released on that date, the 208th day of the year, he shows up in the music video right at 2 minutes and 8 seconds. You can verify it. It's 100% factual. And again, here's the music video. It released August 23rd, 1999. That was the day Kobe turned 21. Lakers is 21 in the most pure cipher. Back then, he used to wear the number 8. Twenty. Now that I think about it, 21 is the 8th Fibonacci number. 34 is the 9th Fibonacci number. 55 is the 10th. So there's something to that. Again, he was number 8 back then before he wore number 24. 21, the 8th Fibonacci number, releases on his 21st birthday. Anyhow, the song came out on his birthday is the point. And look at the name of the song. Bugaboo. Bugaboo. And Bugaboo equals 126 like the day Kobe died, January 26th, 1 slash 26. Destiny's Child, the group that put out the song that Beyonce was obviously, you know, she was like the Diana Ross of Destiny's Child, but Destiny's Child, 74. Kobe was born in the 74th year of the Boulay's existence, and he died during the 74th NBA season. And again, Beyonce is now married to Jay-Z. From Jay-Z's birthday to Kobe's death was his 54th day of his age. Kobe Bean Bryant, 54. Of course, Jay-Z's now a part owner in Brooklyn of the Brooklyn Nets. Kobe's death comes while Beyonce's 38 years old. Beyonce's born on September 4th, the day leaving 118 days left in the year. Death is 38 and 118. Seems like every year there's a fateful death on Beyonce's birthday. I'm not saying that's all because of Beyonce. She's just born on that fateful day. But what else stands out is from Beyonce's birthday to Kobe's death was 144 days. That's a time number. Time in Jewish gematria is 144. The square root of 144 is 12. 12 hours in the morning, 12 hours in the evening, 12 months in the year. Every single day there's 1,440 minutes. One, four, four, zero. So I don't think that's an accident. Again, once upon a time, oh, by the way, they called Beyonce the Queen Bee, so she has that 74 connection as well. Also 38, she's 38 years old at the time this happens. I would say there's been a lot of deaths we've covered in connection to Beyonce. You know, women who helped make their group famous. You know, people who've written her songs for. There's been a lot of deaths over the years connected to Beyonce, but I'd say out of all those deaths, this is probably the biggest one yet. Kobe Bryant, I think most people would agree with that. And um, it seems to be perfectly coordinated with not only her birthday, but now her husband's, Jay-Z. And as I've been explaining for a number of years, Jay-Z and Beyonce's marriage is synced with Kanye West and Kim Kardashian's marriage. Beyonce and Jay-Z were married on April 4th, and Kanye West and Kim Kardashian were married on the 144th day of the year. And notice if you write out 44 and April 4th, it's both 144. Again, these are time numbers. Consider Kobe Bryant did the predictive programming with the Black Mamba film with Kanye West where it ends with an exploding helicopter and where his helicopter crashed was pretty much in the backyard of Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Again, Kobe Bean Bryant with the alphabetic order is 135. He died 135 days from Kanye West's birthday. But anyhow, I've been explaining this for years that all of these celebrities, these, are, these marriages they're in, they're arranged marriages and they are coordinated rituals that sync up with future planned events. And again, Kobe's death is perfectly coordinated with Kanye West. I haven't even looked if it's coordinated with Kim Kardashian. It very well could be. Kardashian's 41, like how Kobe Bryant's 41, dead at 41. But it's obviously synced with Jay-Z, Beyonce. And again, think about who these people are. These are some of the most famous, well-known black entertainers in the world, thanks to the media which is controlled by the cabal, who these people are employed by. 
By the way, the Bugaboo song, which came out on Kobe's 21st birthday, that was a date with 59 numerology, Black Mamba, Accident, Calabasas, they're all 59, like Negro, Slay, Blues, Rasta, Fresh Prince, 59. Again, Kobe died four months and one day after Will Smith's birthday, the Fresh Prince. It was also 123 days later, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is 123. So, just wanted to point these things out. Again, nothing in the world of entertainment is done by accident. It's all perfectly coordinated, it's all perfectly ritualistic, and it's all synced up with the future planned events to come. So, you know, once upon a time, you might be able to say, well, like, well, look at that. The album where Kobe Bryant gets the music video on his birthday and he's in it, it released on the day, leaving 157 days left in the year, and Kobe Bryant's 157. But it would have been hard to see that and go, well, you know, maybe Kobe's going to die 157 days into his 41st age. Yeah. But still, you can see how the web is woven. Just like how if you read my, read my book, which was written long before Kobe died, I identify all the numbers that showed up in his death. 26, 41, 157, etc. It's all in there because these numbers were part of his scripted career, which now, again, resulted in his scripted death. And... I want to send another shout out to Bishop Larry Gathers. He pointed out that the Greek letters of Sigma Pi Phi, which is the boule, Sigma is the 18th letter of the Greek alphabet. Pi is the 16th letter of the Greek alphabet. And Phi is the 21st letter of the Greek alphabet. If you add 6, 18 plus 16 plus 21, it's 55. And remember, boule is 55. Sigma Pi Phi is 55. Kobe Bryant, the memorial was February 24th, the 55th day of the year. Remember, from the Boulay's establishment date anniversary, May 15th, 2019, to Kobe's death was 257 days, which is the 55th prime. Los Angeles Lakers is 257. His birthday, or his wife's birthday, is May 5th, 5-5. Five, five. His death is perfectly synced with his wife's birthday. He died exactly 38 weeks after her birthday. Death 38, like Beyonce's 38. Again, it was also 266 days, like how we're in the time of the 266th Pope, and he died on the 41st day of the Pope's age. Again, you have to look at the world of celebrity as a chessboard that's all been perfectly set so that the next coordinated move is well planned. Masonry. Think about what Masonic lodges have. Chessboard floors. Black and white. We'll leave it there, true seeker. Till next time.